All right, so this is going to be how to select cases in Jamovi. Um, and this is one thing that I feel like it makes a little more complicated than PSPP or SPSS, but we're gonna walk through this. The first thing you wanna do is to make sure you have a good handle on your coding schematic for anything that you have made a nominal or a categorical variable. Um, because if you look over here on major, Jamovi is really helpful in that it automatically translate your codes into the words so that you can see it on your data set. But for this particular activity, you're going to need to have just write it on a post-it note if you need to, that math was one, English was two, education was three. And that over here in your groups, that your control group was zero and your experimental group was one, excuse me. So let's say for our first filter, we're only wanting to look at the experimental group. Maybe I'm wanting to compare the pretest and the post-test scores only using this group. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna click filters. Now, for filter one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click this down arrow and we're gonna tell it that what we're filtering is based on a variable. I'm gonna double click group. I'm gonna put in a double equal sign and I'm going to say one. And I'm going to hit enter. Why is there we go? You might have to enter a couple of times for it to think. And you'll see as you scroll down, what it has done is deselected anything that was a group zero and selected anything that was a group one. Okay. Now you can make this a little more in depth if you want. So let me take this off of here and clear this out. Let's say that I only wanted to look at math majors and education majors, right? The department had asked you only analyze math and education. So I'm only looking at one and three. So I would come over here to filters. I would click my down arrow and I would say if major double equal sign one or major double equal sign three. Click enter as many times as it takes for it to think. I don't know if mine's glitching or if this is normal for Jamoe, but I always have to like re-click it and then click enter a couple of times. And you'll see that anything, and it makes it really easy to see that you have a filter on. You're not going to accidentally leave it on like you sometimes can in, a, in um, PSPP because you're seeing it's actually graying out with a big red X. It's kind of hard to miss any of the majors that are not math or education. And so then if I wanted to come up over here and do my analyses, I could do my t-test and I could maybe see if when I'm talking about this post-test, was there any difference in the experimental and control group if I'm only considering my math and education major, right? I'd pull this over here and I would see this is still not a statistically significant difference. So only narrowing it down to those two majors did not have that big of an impact. But so that's how you use that filter function in PSPP. Again, remember, because this is personally what's been the biggest headache for me and the most difficult thing to remember, you always need to have two equal signs on here or it's not going to read it as being equals. And if you're using an or or an and, it has to be lowercase. Jamovi is very picky about this. If I make this an uppercase, it's going to tell me I don't have a valid formula. So it's really, really picky about it wants the double equal signs and it wants the lowercase if you're using an or or an and. And that's how to turn on your filter or your select cases feature in Jamovi.